Friday morning, everybody. Good Friday morning, guys. How are y'all? Hopefully, you're doing good. It is Friday. It's the last day of your work week, hopefully. I hope it is. I don't want to be, I mean, I'm technically working, but it's all good. Don't worry about me. This devotion is for y'all. That's why we do this. Yeah, yeah it's for y'all. We're going to assume you guys are all. This is your last day. Anyways, 6 o'clock in the morning, you're in bed. Get up out of bed. Get up out of that bed. Get them feet on the floor. Do something productive with yourself. And we got the perfect thing to help you get that started, don't we? Yep. Funny videos. Funny videos, baby. And these are, whew, I heard these are good. They are good. I've seen them. They're good. Let's bring them on. You ready? All right, what's going on with this guy? Oh, he dropped his kid. Oh, it's in the background. That's oh, my goodness. Head. It's in the background. <laughs> he tried to catch. Oh, there goes one. And oh, there, there goes the other. other. Oh, that's, oh, my goodness. I you, so you knew it was going to. Now, that was me. That was me. <laughs> that is just cruel and unusual. Oh, don't want to. Been there. Meltdown. And she's what's the type that? of her world. No. Until... no. <laughs> <laughs> this dude just knocked the kid right over. It. Oh, boy. Uh, now, oh, now, this okay. is the first child syndrome, yeah. I feel, because here, here comes middle child. That's crazy. And no. Oh. Wow. Yeah. That's rough stuff. Wow, <laughs> this can't be good. What's happening What's in here? Oh, sh <laughs> He should have known that kid couldn't hold on like that. Oh, my goodness. Paul, what are we watching? <laughs> Did you, how'd they throw that one in there? Dude, get him. Oh, man. Dude. Have you, first of all. Did you have you ever done anything like with your kids? Because I noticed that all the kids in those videos in that clip, they you, you they either been your kids have either been that age or they're that age right now. Yeah. Have you ever done anything like with your kids? Yeah. Okay. So that that has happened. Okay. But you know, I mean, nobody sustained any serious injuries. It's nah. nothing like. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's, it happens all the time. I mean, so when you're changing their diapers, especially boys, a lot of times things are going to happen. Noah has peed in my eyeball, oh, man. Geez. Uh -huh. Feed in my eyeball. That's disturbed. Woo! Parenting's fun. Y'all should do it. Yeah. When well, you're old maybe and Maybe one day, God willing, I'll have the pleasure of some young and peeing in my eyeball. Anyway, <laughs> as funny as those videos were, I hope that they got y'all at least woken up a little bit. You're probably yeah, still up. laying in your bed. I hope That's why we play these videos. We hope they go ahead and, and spark your day. They go ahead and get you ready. They carry your heartbeat from a 57. And... Up to about a 62. We 62. ain't trying to overdo yeah, it. Yeah, it's slow. It's slow. The big thing is they get you a little bit more awake so you can be attentive for the devotion that we're about to that you're about to receive. Excuse me. <laughs> and with that said, we're gonna go right into our story for the day. As always, it's a great story. Great story. Yep. So take about what 30 seconds. We'll give you. Let's or go with six. Or six. Yeah. Or pause the video. Take as much time as you need, and then come back to us. Yep. Let's Good. go ahead. Pause the video. Ready? And welcome back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, adults, children, juveniles. We hope you got the message well. We hope you read it. Take time to read these guys. We want you to because we're going to paraphrase them and figure out, you know, how best to bring it to you because sometimes I have issues with making sense of what I read. That's yeah. why I'm thankful for people like us who put it into layman's terms, quote unquote. Yeah. And we get it done. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, today we were talking about puzzle pieces, um, how sometimes we try to make things fit in our lives because that's something that we want but we hadn't prayed about it we hadn't talked to God about it it is not God's plan so we're, we're trying to conform him to what we want and that is not the way it's supposed to work and it's not going to work that way you'll be unhappy you'll be uncomfortable you're going to waste a lot of time if you try to do it that way yeah. so let's uh let's talk about the devotion so yeah like he said he brought some of that into it already but um I can I find myself always identifying the most with the characters in these stories um, particularly the mother and the the the, uh, the child was or I don't I can't remember if they were a child or not but they were describing their mother as someone who likes to try to kind of force things. The patience is not one of their strongest suits, I believe it said in the message. Um, I think one of the comparisons were she was trying she tries to make two puzzle pieces fit that just yeah. ain't gonna fit. I, I can really really identify with that. I am that person. I, I I remember last night I was trying to look in my bag for something. And rather than, my bag was packed tight. And what do you think I did? Rather than taking stuff out one at a time, I was digging at the bottom of the bag, moving yeah. all this stuff, trying to find what I was looking for. In there. And I, got, I get so, we're going to make that a high five. Yeah, I get Been so there. caught up in doing things the way I want to do it. And I'm a, I don't even think I'm really hallucinating when I say I'm pretty sure 
Maybe it was the good Lord. Maybe it was just my high, my, my higher level of intelligence if it's somewhere in there. Something told me to just say, Corey, stop. Just stop. Take the stuff out of the bag. And you know what? Wouldn't you know it? It was so much easier. That is, I feel like, you know what? Before I go any further, let's bring the scripture before I go any further. Let's, let's, do, let's that. do that. Let's go on and get the scripture up on the screen. Zip it up. Yep. And it says in 1 John 1, 7 through 9, it says, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. And if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's, that's, that, those verses are just so beautiful. Man. All unrighteousness. All unrighteousness. And we are faithful and just. Think about that. Yeah. Think about everything you've done today, yesterday, your entire life. Think about all of humanity, all the evil, the sin that they have done. Yeah. And he is willing to just cover that. If we're just faithful and just to him, he's faithful and just to us. We just have to be the smaller person in this sense because yeah. we're not bigger than his plan. And we have to admit, okay, you know what? I've been trying to sway. You know, you gave me a blessing. I'm trying to do with it what I want to, whatever the case may be. Or you're trying to just do something that is completely way off his walk for you. You just, you need to be able to recognize that moment. And I've been there, guys. You just have to recognize that and you have to realize, like, you know something? It's not working because that's not his plan for me. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the sooner you come to grips with that, the better off you're going to be. Absolutely. Listen, um, teen, parent, grandparent, whoever you are, one, it, it is not too late until you don't have a heartbeat anymore. It's never too late to recognize God's plan and to start pursuing God. If you're, You might be 50 years old and you're like, man, my entire life I've been thinking, you know, I've been called to do missions work, but I've pursued a 401k, I've pursued whatever. It's not too late. It is. Then that's the good thing about it. It is never too late to turn around and grab hold of uh, biblical truths and just say, you know what, I'm going to pursue God. That's, yep. that's why I'm going to focus on God and I'm going to run to God from now. I mean, I look, I'm 35 years old. I was with the police department for 12 years, and it, I just I Amazing. liked it, and it was awesome. Great friends, great yeah. opportunity, good everything. Everything was lined up in the way that humanity says it should be mm -hmm. for me to be happy, but I wasn't happy right. at all because I knew where I was supposed to be. Yep. And now that I'm here, you know, it, I, I just see things falling into place. and I'm. It's, and there's still going to be problems anywhere you go. But. Anywhere you go. And you know, I'm sorry. I, I feel so, it's like the energy is so strong now because I understand what he's talking about. I don't know if I'm exactly following down the same path. I, I want to say no, but I don't want to jump the gun. But I can tell you now, we have a live audience, by the way. We're just going to give him a shout out on camera. Paul's parents are watching us during this devotion. That needs to be said. And I tell you what. You know, one of the things they brought up, well, what was the question they asked us? Um, I don't know. What was it? They asked us, well, about, in reference to these devotions, one of the big, the questions they asked was, has the devil gotten involved yet? Have you felt resistance brought on by the devil? I'm going to go see them. Y'all see them real fast. Watch this. We're going to get you in touch with our live audience. That's what I'm talking are, about. Here, doing things. That's awesome stuff. That's <laughs> awesome stuff. That's but, where all um, the sound happens and stuff. Anyway, so we're up here. And, and my reason for bringing that up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is because when something beautiful starts Look in your life. Look at that camera so I cut it off. <laughs> when something great starts in your life, like one of the great things that's happened in my life right now is this is this devotion. You know, helping spread the gospel through this means to you guys. And you best believe that the devil tries to get involved. And it might not be through other people. Sometimes timing. And that's what I think yeah. I'm finding in my life, like Paul said. He, he enjoyed what he was doing, but, you know, he wasn't as ha happy as he could be. Um, I find that, you know, sometimes your life might get very, you know, jam-packed, so to speak, and you think, well, God knows, I just can't get ahead for anything. Trust me, there's a reason you can't get ahead. Some of these things, God might be telling you, you need to kind of, look, you need to remove this, you need to remove that. It's almost like that bag. I couldn't find what I was looking for. Why? Because I was trying to just go through everything. Yeah. Whoa. Did I just say all that? Yeah, <laughs> kind of deserves a high five. I have to go spring it on right here. But okay. yeah, guys, go ahead, Paul. So uh, yeah, Corey was removing a lot of extras that he didn't need in the bag that were in the bag, and they were blocking him from getting what he needed in the bag. There's a lot of extras that we have in our lives that we can get rid of. We can actually get rid of Facebook. It's not a necessity. You will live without Facebook. I guarantee it. 
I don't know if Facebook's going to be happy about me saying that and then posting this on Facebook. However, That's just an example, Facebook. Don't, you know, don't get a tin of tiff. You know. Tiff. <laughs> tiff snippet. Tiff. <laughs> this is what tiff means. Um, yeah, snippet. Um, but there, there's a lot of extras that we put in our lives that are conveniences, yep. and they're good, and nothing is saying that they're bad, as yep. long as we haven't turned them into an idol, as long as we're putting God first. But once they start blocking God's plan for our life, then, then they have become bad. Then they are starting to take on form of an idol, like we talked about with Amen. the night. If you, watch uh, out for the idols. Go. So, find your purpose. Ask how we find your purpose. Ask. How do we find our purpose? Talk to God. Read His Word. Pray. Pray. Surround yourself with good, godly Christian friends who have your best interest in mind. Um, and th this is just for, I mean, the 50-year-old all the way down to the 13-year-old and even younger. Surround yourself with good Christians, okay? Because you're going to surround yourself, inevitably, if you're going to um, public or private school, you're gonna, you will be surrounded by groups and cliques uh, in work, school, that aren't going to have your best interest in mind all the time. If, if you surround yourself with Christians, at least you know that they are reverting or should be reverting back to the Bible. Um, talk to God, read, the, read His Word, and um, pursue Him. Pursue Better Him believe. first, and you'll find your purpose. Better Guaranteed. believe it. He take care, he'll take care of everything, guys. Don't you worry about anything. Yep. That's it. All right, guys. Go out there. It's Friday. Yeah, thank you, people. Have a wonderful weekend. Randall House, we Good love you so much. Randall House. We, we can't wait to see you soon. Um, thank you guys so much for this D6. Devotion. Subscribe. Yes, please. Guys, subscribe. Keep okay. watching. Subscribe. Spread the word. God bless you. God bless you. Let's end it.